Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Before we get into this video, I just want to apologize that this video is posted later than normal. I just had a lot of stuff going on the past two days and I usually film my videos a day in advance, but I accidentally left my iPad that I edit on at the kids I babysit house last night. So I didn't have any way to edit this video. So I had to wait until today to go and get it. It was just a whole ordeal. So I'm super sorry that this video is posted later in the night than I usually would like to post. So without further ado though, I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the Together Time Seiko Disney puzzle. This one was absolutely adorable and probably one of my favorite images on the Together Time puzzle line. So without further ado, let's get on with the time lapse. So what did we think about this puzzle? It was absolutely adorable. There were so many cute little things in this puzzle that made us enjoy it. Something that is different about the Together Time puzzles, and you will see in the piece showing when I do an overview of those, that there's three different types of pieces. There's a large, a medium, and a small. I was on the side that there was the large and the medium, and then my mom did the small side. She said the small side was really hard, and then my side wasn't that hard. It was just a matter of trying to find the pieces. They fit in the correct spots really well, and it wasn't as hard as we were really expecting it to be, which I guess it's a kid's puzzle that you're supposed to be able to do with your mom or somebody, so it's not supposed to be extremely hard. So it was just the right amount of challenge. This is definitely a different image than I have seen. Most Christmas puzzles involve Santa and everything else. This one is just a gingerbread house, which I think was such a cute and neat marketing idea for Seiko to do. And you guys are gonna be shocked about how cute this one is, I think. There was just so many cute little things going on, like the snowman, and Donald and Daisy decorating the tree, Chip and Dale appear. If you love Disney, I definitely recommend picking this one up. So here are the large pieces of the puzzle. You can see that they stick together rather well for it being the large pieces and how big they are. So you kind of get an idea of what to expect. Here are the medium pieces and you can see down at the bottom where I took it and how well those pieces stick together. They're the perfect size in between the two and I definitely think kids could still do them. Here are the last pieces, which are the small, just normal jigsaw pieces. They do stick well together for a Seiko puzzle, a lot better than normal Seikos. Here are the small pieces where I took the section from and it clicking in. All you have to do is really just go over the top pieces and get those to click in. The pieces attached to them stay together. 
I'm really glad that I chose pieces that actually were on the border. Here are the medium pieces being clipped in and all you have to do once again is once you get it in to the little hole is just click them in rather hard because they stick quite well together. Here is the big pieces being pushed in and they just slide right on in because they are so big. You don't really have to push that hard on them. Here are the three pieces side by side. As you can see the shapes and the sizes, there's quite a bit of difference. They, I don't think are as thick as buffalo, but they're thicker than a normal Seco piece, it looks like to me. They are a matte finish, which Seco puzzles are usually glossy, but I honestly really like this finish. It felt quite nice and it made the pieces feel like a lot more higher quality. So I wish Seco would kind of go to this paint job on all of their normal puzzles. Same thing here. This is the normal pieces. And I think that is more so thick. It's on the normal brown cardboard that all Seco puzzles are usually on. There was not a lot of puzzle dust for there being random piece shapes. I was very proud. So will we be keeping this puzzle? The answer is no, we are not going to. And I know you guys are probably kind of shocked about that. But... The together time puzzles we don't tend to really keep because we think that there's a kid out there that could really enjoy them a whole lot more than we could. So this one is already up on a Mercari. Our Mercari is Ings1234. Go and give that a follow or go just look at this puzzle or look at our other puzzles that we have up there that are waiting for some new homes. I am super sorry guys, I totally forgot to do the part about my puzzle hardness scale. So I'm just gonna replay the puzzle time lapse here. I would honestly just give this puzzle a two. It was not very hard on my side. Now my mom did say that her side was a little bit hard, but I don't think that it deserves over a two, especially because it is a together time puzzle. It's meant to be made a little bit easier. So I would definitely say that if you have grandkids or something, pick this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future 12 days of puzzle content and just normal puzzle content. I'm so excited for our future puzzle videos. We're gonna have a lot of fun. My 2021 puzzle favorite video is coming up really soon. That one's gonna be a really cool one to watch and see which puzzles we really enjoyed this year. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. Also, while you're at it, make sure that you head over to our Instagram and give that a follow, which is Puzzling It Through Life. I've been posting some things over there that are kind of neat behind the scenes stuff that I think you guys would really enjoy to see. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my video tomorrow. Bye.